The Ukrainian ambassador has said the only way to really hit Putin where it hurts is to go after his oil and gas sector. And some senators agree, Republican and Democrat. Uh, Senator Joe Manchin, for example, mentioned that the U.S. is still currently buying approximately 600,000 barrels of, of crude and uh, other petroleum products every single day. Is that on the table? Is that something that the administration would continue, or would consider in terms of further sanctions, cutting off the oil and gas uh, part of the economy for Russia? Well, as you know, that on this issue, for example, we applaud Germany in terms of what it has done as it relates to Nord Stream 2, as it relates to what we need to do domestically as well as, as what we need to do in terms of this issue generally. We have, as the president said, uh, reevaluated what we're doing in terms of the strategic oil reserve here in the United States to make sure that it will not have an impact or we can mitigate the impact on the American consumer. Uh, but let's, let's take this one step at a time. I'm understanding that right now on the issue of energy, our allies have stood firm and unified in a way that many of the pundits didn't predict would happen um, to ensure that we are, we are unified in our approach to this issue.